everyone welcome back to my channel if you are just now joining me my name is Marley and I am really excited for this week's video because this week we have a sponsored fly Kirby haul and they did supply all the items in this video but I will as always give a hundred percent honest review so I hope you stick around because I have a feeling you're gonna like some of the things I found Ladies, if you are more mature, such as myself, and I know a lot of my viewers are indeed of the more mature variety, mature, wiser, better, right? Is that what we're going with? That's what we're going with. <laughs> In any case, if you are more mature, such as myself, a lot of times I feel like the fashion is geared towards younger people and it's not always appropriate. You can wear whatever you want and if you can pull it off, you go girls. But sometimes I'll put something on and I'm like, oh, I think I'm just, this isn't for me. And the reason why I really like the Flight Curvy website is they had a lot of stuff that was geared towards more traditional cuts, more modest cuts, more mature styles. I think right now they're running a Mother of the Bride campaign and they have a lot of pretty stuff, gears you could definitely do as a wedding guest, Mother of the Bride, whatever the case may be. So I did pick all of my items based off of that idea. I hope you guys like what I picked as much as I did. This dress is really pretty. It has, it's more, I guess, embroidery. So the top is a mesh overlay with embroidery in it and some it has a few sequins kind of intermixed. I don't know if the camera's picking up the hints, but it is really pretty. It's basically a two-tone blue. It's a navy with a lighter, almost grayish blue embroidery on it. It's totally sheer up here, and, and holding this up to the camera lights, I don't know if you can see, but it's got a liner here where your chest area goes, but the liner is almost completely see-through as well so i'm not sure how that's supposed to work this will definitely be a right type of bra situation um we will see how this goes but that would be my only concern on this one just from looking at it off of the body is this is a very very sheer liner on it at the bottom it's got kind of a belted area under the breast line and then it flares out with some multi-layer almost i guess chiffon layers to it that's really pretty it does have a zipper in the back this looks like a snugger cut to me so it probably is going to need the zipper to get it on and off and it doesn't have any stretch so keep that in mind and we will try this one too anything negative i'm going to say about this dress i'm going to preface i don't think it's the dress's fault <laughs> i should have sized up on this one apparently because it doesn't fit me very well. But with that said, please keep in mind that I am not very large up top. And so you ladies who are more blessed might want to definitely size up because this dress will not fit otherwise. There is no stretch in it. There's no stretch on the neck. There's no stretch on the sleeves. There is no stretch on the bosom. Now, once you get past that, past this belt area, again, it's just too small on me, so forgive me for tugging and pulling. It's not sitting right on me. Have a feeling on somebody else, this would be a beautiful dress. Not so much on me. But it, after this um, kind of belt trim feature on it, it does flare out, and then I feel like it fits fine. It definitely has some flow to it on the bottom. It's kind of chiffon -y sort of material so that flows really nice my only other critique again i have a feeling it's because it doesn't fit right but it feels like it's a little bit short on me in regards to the slit now i'm not going to be showing anything here because this goes all the way up over here so i'm not worried about that per se i just think it hits me in a weird spot and i have a feeling that's because i'm tall and on a more petite gal it would hit in the perfect spot so with that said, this isn't necessarily my favorite dress. There are things about it I love. I do love the mesh on top with the embroidery and the sequins. It gives it a really pretty sheen as you move. And I did lie, that inner lining, even though it is see-through, once you get it on, I'm wearing nude under here and you can't see through it at all. Once that light's not shining through it, it's not a problem. The 
amount of sheer on the lining. So that ended up not being a problem. Only other issue is really the sleeves. And again, I have a feeling that's more due to the size than the sleeves themselves, but they are cute little cap sleeves. I, they don't have any stretch, so my upward mobility. I'm going to have a hard time at doing the chicken dance at that wedding. So, oh well. <laughs> you win some and you lose some. Overall, a very beautiful dress. And it does seem really well made. Maybe the one exception to that being the zipper. Um, I don't know if we were having a really hard time with the zipper just because it didn't fit very well. Or if the zipper itself could have been a little better quality. But other than that, I have no complaints for this dress except that... I chose the wrong size. I'm going to step close just for a minute here. I want you all to see the, the glory of this fabric. I hope it's showing up in the camera because it's really beautiful. It's a silver, but it's got also hints of aqua thread kind of mixed through there. So it's more silver, but it definitely has hints of bluish green in it. And I picked it because this particular garment is amazing. Sorry, I can't find them now. They're buried in all the fabric, but these ladies are pants. <laughs> Who doesn't love a good pant? I like a good pant. I don't have to worry about how I sit or bending over, tripping over the hem, whatever the case may be. As a natural born klutz, pants are always a really good idea. So I thought this was a really cool idea. As you can see, it does have the sparkly fabric. It has a zipper in the back and it is pants. So that's never a great combination. But the fabric itself is pretty stretchy. It has some stretch to it. It's got this sash detailing around the middle area and it has a dress sort of overlay to the pants. So it kind of gives it, I, I guess, maybe a cape effect to it. So I'm really excited to try this one. I hope it works out because I really do love wearing pants over dresses. It's just me. I, I was a tomboy growing up. So um, this is usually how I roll. I prefer a good pant over a skirt any day. We're calling this one practical glamour. <laughs> how could you secretly not like this? I don't know if we're calling it a plant, uh, a plant. I don't know if we're calling it pants or a dress, maybe a jumpsuit. Regardless, I love the concept of it. I will say I feel like a middle-aged Cinderella renewing your wedding vows or something, but nevertheless, this is awesome. <laughs> Super practical. I could wear this all night long. It is really comfortable. Lots of stretch. You still get the glitter, but you get the comfort. One thing I will say I wish they had done is at least in this top section put a liner on it. The fabric itself isn't necessarily scratchy, but it's not the smoothest either. So if, if they were to improve, that would be my only thing is to put a liner in here. Otherwise, I love it. It is very comfortable. Um, one other thing I had noticed is the pants themselves were pretty short. They are like capri length. I believe they're meant to be like that because when I look back at the picture, they're short on the model too. Just gives you an opportunity to wear a really nice shoe, but you would have to wear a really nice shoe. You can't be like me where I'm always trying to hide my, my shoes under the dress or the garment. So keep that in mind. I love this one. I think it's a winner. Let me know what you think. Um, definitely gives off middle-aged Cinderella vibes, but I don't necessarily think that's a bad thing because do we ever get past our Cinderella age? I don't think so. Hold. Let's do that again. <laughs> Holy heaviness. This dress is heavy. I mean, it's heavy. The skirt on it is really heavy. The skirt, let's start there because I've got it hefted. Let's try this again. Hefted up here. Um, the skirt is gorgeous. It has a nude liner under the skirt. The skirt itself is a mesh, just a mesh overlay on it, and it has sequins all over it. But the pattern's really kind of neat. It's got a, a diamond pattern on it with, I guess, maybe floral on top. I really like the skirt on this one, just at first glance. Hopefully it looks really nice on. It is very beautiful. In regards to the top, it's 
a very stretchy material, like a spandex type material. So it should be pretty comfortable. Looks like probably three quarter sleeves on me and a V-neck as well. So that'll be really good to try on. I think this one's gonna be comfortable if nothing else, because this top fabric and the liner on that should make it really comfortable to wear. This one was so almost there. <laughs> I love, love, love the skirt. What I don't like about this dress is simply the top is not made of a fabric that is strong enough to support the weight of the, the bottom. This is so stretchy that the weight of the skirt is just pulling it down. Right now I've kind of got it pulled really far down on the back to try and compensate for the fact that this fabric just keeps pulling, pulling down. If I'm wearing it like it wants to naturally hang, as you can see, there you definitely got a lot showing here. Um, keep that in mind, I clearly do not have the right undergarments <laughs> to wear with this dress as it is. So just keep that in mind. I would recommend that you size down on this one just because of this one reason. I do love the skirt so much. It is beautifully sparkly. It looks expensive. It feels expensive. Everything from here down, I love. Again, I don't love the top. I love the structure. I love the V-neck. I love the long sleeves. I love all that. I just don't love the fabric. It's not the right fabric to wear with something so heavy. Here's the front. Here is the back. You'll notice that I have to pull up the skirt. It is really long, so keep that in mind. Shorter girls, you may need to get it hemmed up or you're just just—you're definitely gonna have to be pulling it up as you walk. I'm 5'9 and I am definitely pulling it up. It is beyond floor length, so that makes it look really pretty. But if you're a klutz like me, something to watch out for. You all know I love me a good sparkle. <laughs> so right off the bat, I like this one, but I hope it looks as good on as it does in, you know, just sitting here. It is beautiful fabric. The inside of the fabric is a teal. It's like a dark teal or a peacock green almost. And then on top, it's got a sheer fabric that's the same green interwoven with some gold. And um, on top of that, they've got these silver little sequin polka dots on it that kind of look like stars. I hope you can tell how sparkly it is. Let me hold it up here so you can hopefully see. It is a little slippery, slippery little sucker, but um, fabric is really beautiful. This dress is quite stretchy, so that's great. It's on the front, it does have a wrap type of neckline. It's not a true wrap but it does um, give that wrap impression to it. The sleeves are not lined. They are just the sheer fabric and they're very fluttery. I'm thinking this is probably gonna be the most comfortable of the bunch. We'll try it out and see, but because of the stretch and the liner, I think it's gonna be really comfortable. The fabric is just really soft and smooth. You would think that with all this glitter, this would be rough and maybe it's, um, not necessarily smooth on the top layer, but it's not scratchy at all. It does have a belt accent to it as well. And in stepping back, it looks like it's gonna be plenty long for my five foot nine frame. So we will give this one a shot. Okay, I found my favorite. <laughs> I'm not sure that this is the most flattering of all the dresses on me. You guys can weigh in on that. But what I can tell you is it is by far the most comfortable. It is very, very, very comfortable as a matter of fact. I feel kind of like I'm wearing a nightgown or walking around the house in a nightgown. So that is a bonus. It has the spandex lining in it. So none of this fabric is really touching you except on the sleeves and it's smooth enough that doesn't feel itchy at all. I do like the sleeves are so flouncy that you can move freely and that the dress itself has enough stretch to move freely in. I like that. The only thing I am unsure about, and again, it's a sizing issue. I would have said I should have sized down on this one. Um, if you are more ample up top, you probably don't need to. I need to. I'm getting just a little bit of gap in here, but the fact that this belt is here, it does is removable, but it's just a belt made out of the same fabric. 
I kind of squeezed it in a little bit so the fact that it was a little bit big isn't bothering me so much and I could pin it here as well if I needed to. Just keep that in mind. I do have a little bit of gapping just because it's a tiny bit too big. I love the length on it. It comes all the way down to the floor on me and it mostly hides my feet unless I'm walking. That means I can wear some comfortable shoes. <laughs> I don't have to wear the prettiest, fanciest, shiniest shoes with this one. I can wear some black flats or something like that or some sandals and they will be just fine under here. I, once again, I know I said it a few times, but I love it, I love it, I love it. Here is the front, here is the back, and there is the front again. Well, everyone, this was the last dress I had in the haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Huge thanks to Fly Curvy for supplying them, and please let me know in the comments which of these dresses you would prefer, which would you buy for yourself, which do you prefer on me. I love to hear from you guys. I really, truly do, and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.